<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome back to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and in this case, Altergeist, a kind of weird version of Altergeist. This is actually part two, playing ten duels with them. If you missed part one, the first five duels should be linked down in the description. Uh, those went all right, not as well as I would like. I've actually made some changes going into part two. We've switched out Switcheroo for Memory of an Adversary. Does kind of the same thing, but with slightly different activation requirements. Should allow us to still get some cheesy monster steals while being live more of the time. And I've swapped out Time Space Trap Hole for Compulsory Evacuation Device, which again, kinda does the same thing. This is a bit stronger against something like Pendulums, but this should be more useful against more decks. So we're gonna jump in, do five more duels, see if we can turn our record around. <laughs> Alright, here we are in what is for me the sixth duel, first duel of this episode. And we're going first. Trying out some new things. We've already got one of our new techs in here. We've got new sleeves, if you've noticed. I made these cool, corrupted versions. Some people just think they look messy. But I think given how we've been doing so far, I'd like to try those out. We don't have a way to get to Multifaker, but we do have Marionetter, which will at least let us get a Monster Negate on board. That's pretty cool. We've got Trap Trick. And they instantly surrendered. And you know what? Normally I might not count something like that, but I like to go for the intimidation factor. I like to believe it was the spooky sleeves that scared them. And plus a lot of these decks have been grinding, so we take the wins where we can get them! Going to the next duel. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Seventh duel versus John Madden. Probably coming here with UAs. If I had to guess something, I would guess that. And we get to go first, and we do have a way to get to Multifaker, so that's cool. Assuming it doesn't get, like, Ash Blossomed or something. Show me no Ash Blossom! Hey, there we go. Give me my big spidery thing. I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. And we'll put you over here, and we'll put one of you there, and then we're doing the, 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 um, the non-symmetrical to throw them off. To make them think about what they've done. Unfortunately, we got this in hand, which you don't really want in hand. This would be a great time to have personal spoofing, but unfortunately, we don't have personal spoofing. Alright, getting that already, I am not liking it. I'm just gonna protocol now. And in addition to being able to negate things, this also gives me the ability to, um... It makes it so they can't activate cards in... What was it? The activation effects of Altergeist cards cannot be negated. So that'll help me out quite a bit. Let's go ahead. Are we just going to bounce? We're just going to go for the bounce. We're going to go for the crounce and bounce, if you know what I mean. So he's got a 2,000. I could put it back in his hand. He can only special summon it once per turn that way. I'm pretty sure. Dark Magical Circle. Um, when this card is activated, look at the top three. And the thing is, you can only activate one dark magical circle. I might be dumb, but I think this is how this works. If I bounce that back to his hand, it doesn't actually work and he can't activate it again. Because it's continuous. Okay. I Yeah, okay, that didn't work because he didn't get to add anything. And with, with, uh, the way Dark Magicians work, you don't really want, they don't really have a whole lot of monsters that you want to bounce back. I mean, I could have bounced back this, but at the same time, it's like, you know, oh, we could special, so okay, there we go. Yeah, I could have bounced back this, but at the same time, I'm already going to be able to negate it with Link Karibo. And I've got a bunch of monster negates anyway, if he has something he can get out on the field. I just don't want him to start banishing shit. Going for that then there, Arya. We'll let him just pay his 2,000 first. That'll do half the work for us. Just seems like everyone, everyone is using this. Um. Nay. Go away. I'm not going to be dark. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I'm told I do this fairly well. Um, okay. Alright. Alright, okay. 
Um, I'm half tempted to activate this just so I could special summon multi faker. Um, I think though what I want to do. Move this to attack. We're just gonna get rid of this. We could bounce it, but there's really not any reason to, especially since this might be Eternal Will, and I'd rather bounce that and prevent him from doing anything with it. So we're just gonna go with minimal damage here. We've got the Compulse that's always able to be activated. We've got the Infinite Impermanence, and he's got something right there. So let's see what he does. He didn't activate Eternal Will in the end phase. That's good. Gonna go for another... okay. Place one Dark Magician or Mahad directly on top of his deck, and then he can draw one, and if he draws Mahad, he can summon it, and that's a big beater guy. But I can compulse it back into his hand, and then it's just dead. It's just dead in hands, not able to do anything. No, he's putting Eternal Will. Okay, so he's going for the Will, even though he knows I have the Bounce ability. Um, And yeah, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time, and just... Uh, not allow him to search, not allow him to do the things he wants. And... Target negate... Okay. I think this'll work. I hope this'll work. If it doesn't work, I'm fucked. Um... Okay, it worked. He couldn't negate it because it was in my hand. Summon this. We've already got both our birds, so in this case you want to summon a little mermaid guy. Because if he destroys that, when he destroys that, I'll get something back. Fortunately, that means his eternal will is live. I pretty much just have to, like, normal summon this immediately. And hope everything's fine. Draw a card. Was it Mahad? I don't think it was. Otherwise, he would have, like, instantly revealed it. No, it was the eternal will. What am I thinking about? So, I know that's eternal will. Okay, and he didn't immediately do it. Which means he's stupid! Because now I'll be able to send it to the graveyard with Mel you seek. The Mel you seek. Go away, Eternal Will. Nobody likes you. Not even Dark Magician players. They're like, oof, ah, why can't I? Mm, I would prefer to. Mm, eh, mm, eh. Um, attack. 300. Um, and let me think about this. Yes, yes, all the yes. We've already got the other one in our hand, so what we want to do is we're going to make Hextia with these two. And get Mare... Oh, I haven't... I normal summoned already. Fuck. Um, that's fine. Marionetter. Um, yeah, I forgot I already normal summoned. That will cost us dearly. So dearly, in fact, that I am now officially worried. I have officially done goofed. I should have used those... No, I shouldn't have. I should have just not... I should have... I don't know what I should have done. Something different than that. Something not stupid. Um... Yeah, because now I can't stop him from doing that. So... I'm kind of fucked. Although I can stop monster effects if he has them. I've already gotten rid of his eternal will. For some reason, I was like, ah, I can finally negate this, and then I forgot that I had no. Okay. I just gotta survive until next turn. He got the eternal will. Although, he put it in the same thing as infinite impermanence. So if he puts a monster on board. Actually, I think I can... Okay. Activate effect now? Yes. We're going to send that back. And we're going to search Multifaker. And then Multifaker's like, hey, was a trap activated? If a trap's activated, I'm going to come out here. Yo, what's up? And... Yeah, we're just going to summon one of these. And now I can negate his eternal will. Because this is a spell trap negate. That is a roundabout way of moving multi-faker over two zones. Um. And now I have learned my lesson. 
Let's normal summon. Multivaker, you can only get it off of a trap activation, by the way. So when you first activate personal spoofing, you can do that. This is continuous. It allows you to continue to, to trade things out. But on subsequent trades, you cannot get multifaker, so that thing wouldn't always work. And unfortunately for us, he realized he was kind of doomed. So there we go. We can beat Dark Magician. Hopefully we don't encounter them anymore as we go into the seventh duel. Oh wait, this was the seventh duel. If I count that sixth duel. We might do a bonus duel. Depends how long this goes. We're going into the eighth duel, though. It's officially eight. Eighth duel versus number one. He was number one, Mr. Krabs, don't you know? Starting with Marionetta again. Easy play, easy, not hard. Why do we have another Silquidius in our hand? Uh, gotta play around Mech Knights. It's a meme in most places, but here you actually need to do it. Because YGO Pro, the Wild West. If you missed the first episode, I, th that was my whole reasoning for doing this deck. Normally, I don't like the idea of playing an established deck, well, fuck. Okay, well that time I believe he just surrendered because he played the wrong card or did something differently, so... Now I'm just gonna roll that into the sixth duel. That and the other one. That counts as a win together. Let's find a real eighth duel. Uh-oh, he's the Joker, baby. I changed my name, so people shouldn't know this is hard leg, but I think on stream I mentioned that I might be going as Ghost Guy, because Ghost Girl was the character who played these in the anime. And I made that thing on stream, so who knows? Unless that meme is just getting around more. I only heard it on MT er, MBT's uh, stream. I assumed he made it up or had something to do with it, but I'm, I could very well be wrong. We'll see. But yeah, as I was saying beforehand, but in, in the previous duel, I usually don't like to do decks where it's like, hey, I'll just take a pre-existing deck and play it worse. Well, that's a problem. If I can't summon, I need to be able to summon. Summoning cards is kind of what I do. And Twin Twisters. Are you just are you just playing everything that you, you hate for me? Um I can activate this now. Because this hasn't resolved yet. And Yeah, that doesn't really do anything for me. So summon that, it'll get destroyed. And then I'll at least get a search. Um, it won't be a good search, but I'll get it. One of these. Might be helpful for a future time. This is Pacifus, isn't it? Oh, I hate Pacifus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hate Pacifus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Pacifus can get fucked. This is a heavy. Sp this is one of those ones that you're gonna you're gonna get your uh, heavy storm dusters, and you want to play them at three, so you can get rid of this, and then hope this isn't that thing that protects it. Because if it is, you just fuck. Yeah, all my monster negation is just like worthless here. And I just want to take the damage because if I do that, then he's gonna get a two thousand token, and that'll be even more stuff. Even more things that I'll have to deal with. Um, let's see. Your opponent activates a card or effect. Except during the damage step. Um, yep, we're gonna set this. Because I can't normal summon monsters because of that heat wave card or whatever it is. Just gotta hope he doesn't get another monster. Okay, he doesn't. But he does get other things. And... Uh, he's gonna get a token at some point eventually, and then get a thing, but then he'll get two, and yeah, I think I just need to get as many resources as I can. Once I have this back, I can hopefully send Pacifus back to his hand, and then it'll... Oh, he did, oh it was the battle phase or something. Okay, that's alright. Um, uh, 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 normal summon. Yes, we'll go ahead. Yes, he'll get. Oh, and he's got sea stealth attack. Well, doesn't that just fuck me sideways? Like a bow legged dog. Because now I can't attack into his. Not that I was going to be attacking into his things anyway. 
But now he can protect this. It's tr at the start of the damage step. Uh, okay, you can activate any once per turn. You can banish one water monster. Spell traps cannot be destroyed. I can make them leave the field, though. Which is like destroying them. Um, personal spoofing and one of these. And then he can destroy something. What will destroy? How did he know which one was my manifestation? A sad state of affairs, if to be certain. I kind of needed that. Alright, let's go ahead. Protocol. Because he's already got this. Oh yeah, he banishes the token, though. Um, That's fine. And then this comes out, and then he gets a token, and then he gets to search something. But he's already used two of these. So I might be able to actually just, like, grind him through all three. Especially with spoofing, being able to put stuff back. Um, and what do I want to summon? Yeah, I think it has to be this. Okay, yeah, and then he's got that. Um, hmm... The grind is real. And you can just normal summon it again. So there's really no reason to... Actually, what I'm going to do... Personal spoofing. I'm going to spoof that back in. And we're going to get Kanakari or whatever its name is. We're going to get our centaur lady. Because that's going to be slightly more difficult for him to deal with. Because it's got 2400... So I'll have to use this on this. Uh, no. Why can't I summon? Alright. There we go. I can summon this. Negate. That. No sea stealth attack for you! And then you're gonna negate my effect, and I'm gonna be like... Butcha! Um... Back to the hand, and... Do I remove? It's already attacking... Yeah, I think I just remove this, because he's gonna run out of things at some point. Even though he can summon it again, it stops his attack for now. And hopefully I can just outspook him. Yep, he just gets another- Oh no, he doesn't have any more! Or he's already used it once per turn. Okay. One of those two. Um... And I think what I want to do... Yeah, we're going to... Part of me wants to get the... No, I need my traps more. I need my Alter Guys thing. Parts of me just wants to go for, not Twin Twisters, um, Heavy Storm Duster, and do things. Um, actually, back to your hand it goes. No more tokens for you, my friend. Um, ha ho! What say ye now, scurvy dog? <laughs> I have become Pirate Man from Pirate Land. Now you have none of the tokens, and I have many. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good with that. And then when you attack, I can summon this and negate your field spell. Because it's only after the activation, I believe and it negates the attack. And then as long as this stays on the field, I can keep his things negated. Um... Yeah, we're good. And then that'll negate, and I'll be like, NOT SO FAST, YOUNG MAN! You're trying to be a fine young cannibal over here, and I'm not much caring for it. Demise of the land. All right. Touche. Touche, salesman.
But that one doesn't activate. It's not in the field. They're, like, continuous, so it has to remain on the field in order to resolve the effect. Um, and I haven't used this yet. And that's not negated anymore, so let's... Send that back. No more for you, thanks. I'm stuffed. Um, except for he still has this. Um, if your water monster whose original level is 5 or higher. Okay, so it has to be 5 or higher. Um, summon Multifaker. Using the Manifestation Station. There can be only one. And then... Back to the hand with you. <laughs> I don't want any of your shit, all right? <laughs> I've had enough of you, Pacifus. You're doing things, and I'm not liking it. Trying to floodgate me. Floodgate you back into your own house. Okay. Um, these two. And one of these. Do I have another Silquidius in the graveyard? I do. So I can activate this, send Silquidius, summon another Silquidius in attack mode, and then that'll get me back my trap that I need to do the things that I want to do. Then I can normal summon this. That'll put me up past 3,000. And then I can Django Unchained unless this is like... No, no matter what it is, I can negate it. Stop it. You're drunk, go home. I'm the Joker, baby. Although I take the damage. Okay. Oopsie doopsie. Um, I'm gonna take this back. And now I can't get over his things, but I keep most of my stuff on the field. Um, setting stuff and setting things, setting big things all day long. And yeah, then once he gets into the battle phase, it's like, I'm not going to activate anything to the battle phase, and then you're going to have troubles. What you going to pop? Going to be a popper? Code locker? Rocker? Spending time with all the chat room locker rooms? That one. Alright, so... Activate. Alright. Activate. Send that back. Get me one of these. And then he gets a token, I believe. Unless I stop it. Go back to the hand, please. No effects for you. Like, fine, I'll activate it again. I'm like, okay, but you don't get to... I have way more cards than you. You're fighting an uphill battle, young man. Um, and I don't want to activate this because I've already got a ton of cards, and also, I think I can do this because it can't be destroyed, but I can send it to the graveyard. Alright, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I mean, I don't need to destroy it, though. This just sends it to the graveyard. There can be only one. Uh, all right. Return this, return that! <laughs> and then he gets a token, yes. Oh, he still has another one of those, all right. Now is he going to negate my effects? He could. He could do that. Um, 
Yeah, I guess. Okay, fine. No, I don't want to continue the battle. You just gotta be that guy, don't you? Just that guy, running all around, being like, Yeah, I'm that guy, big whoop. You want to fight about it? Um... Do I have another Hextia? Oh yeah, I have plenty of Hextias. Uh, two of these. Um, have I already normal summoned? Yes. Tribute that to get another Hextia. Double Hextia. Give me my traps back. All the manifestations. Um, and I can use both of them per turn. Alright. You're starting to run out of Phantasm Spiral Traps. Uh, materialization. We're just gonna materialize. Yo, what's up? Big attack! Nay. I think you're out of things you can do. I'm sorry, Joker, but I am the Batman. I am the Ghost Batman. I'm gonna negate that. Because you're going to attack with this, thinking that you could just blow things up, but you're not gonna be able to blow things up because that's gonna be negated! <laughs> um Send that back. And then I can finally tribute this off to kill your phantasm or your pacifus pacifus you're negated! You're playing checkers and I'm playing chess! <laughs> I, I like how the traps haven't been useful at all. I've just been playing the Alter Guy stuff. Pot of duality. Turn, turn, turn. Give me some cards. Card of demise. Alright, are you gonna get another Pacifist? Does this stuff come back if this is negated? It was like a cost, but I don't know if that's how that works. So he got another one, but I have another manifestation, so... I could summon something under Hextia, negate this effect as soon as I activate a thing. If I activate a thing. And then bring something else back. Yeah, it comes back still. Gosh darn it. These gosh darn people running around with all their silly fancy things. This I'm not even a, not even a point. Um. Yep, I just have to negate that. And then might as well just manifestation. Just bring this back. This will be not enough. Uh, one of these. Get that back. Send that back. This is just a, you know what, I'll be back when I finally figure out a way to end this. As it stands, things are in weird places and I don't like it. I just keep, we're just cycling through. I'm just trying to get his things, and he's trying to get my things. Just tribute this, get another Hextia. Give me my trap back. I'm just going to keep activating it, and even if that's the mirror force that you want, I keep having to use my normal summons. Um, there we go. Am I finally going to get in for some damage? Am I finally going to damage this sucker? <laughs> Gosh, damn it. Stop it. You're not allowed. My traps are better and bigger and fatter. My traps know their way around a man, and you don't. Uh, okay. And 
and and uh, I think that's it. <laughs> all right I think this is finally it I think I've finally gotten around all his dumb things with his dumb ways and his dumbness I don't know how I can be winning and be so angry because it's taking so long get out of here sea stealth attack no one likes you take your damage take your medicine I have too many cards why is this oh and he does oh and he mm, ah, mm. no I negate I'm the Joker baby you think you're the Joker baby but you're not the Joker baby I'm the only baby Joker around here just running around in a little diaper just committing all sorts of mass crimes that no one no one knows about and no one likes cancer ass deck lamau I could say the same for you mister sitting on floodgates all over the place comment in the comments who's de <laughs> I wish I could have side decked me too you wouldn't be able to play is that how <laughs> have fun just floodgates hmm ha hmm I wonder how do you shut down how do you make it so that they don't they aren't able to play I mean I could put in a bunch of spell trap removal and stuff either way comment in the comments whose deck is more cancer and let's mark that down as a win as we go into the ninth duel <laughs> Jaws Hans versus the ninth duel first turn now we've got both our heavy storm dusters and and multi faker um we just gotta hope that our opponent is on a spell trap heavy deck if they're just all spell traps we are gonna be set I tell you what there's that I don't really feel the need to play two so we're just gonna sell all those there we go there we go Start with a multi faker, you're always in a good position. Oh, you don't want to be discarding those, do you? It'd be a shame if someone were to just, you know, heavy storm duster them immediately. Oh no, there goes your things. What did he lose? Oh, D D D D D's. I see. We'll just summon out this. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? And my friend, Birdman? Birdwoman? They say these are females. I don't know. I don't see hardly any female traits on here. They're like weird machine robot things. They're supposed to be spellcasters, but not a wand on any of them. Alright, DDD Rocket Dangers? D -d danger rockets that's what you call it <laughs> you gotta make the stutter is part of it d -d 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 danger and face the strange d -d danger you gotta get the d d d d d's he's gonna be like oh I'm gonna send that back into the deck and I am going to be like, uh, nay? Nay, I don't think you are. Sorry, buddy. I'm the Joker, baby. I am a baby version of the Joker. You can add one rocket card from your deck to your hand. Okay, maybe I'll be Tracer. Destroy it, and if you do, he's already normal summoned. Oh? Um... It's not once per turn, so you just keep banishing stuff and doing things. Oh, but you see, I am just going to bounce this and send this back to your hand. Because I can use multi-faker again and again and again and again and again. Over and over again. I'm thick about it over and over again. And it hurts so bad. Well, you just, okay, just trying to take slightly less damage. Uh, yeah, I think this is what I need to do. 
is to send that back so that I can special summon Multifaker. So that I can special summon... Okay, good. Yeah, get Multifaker, and then you get the Mermaid, and then you send the Mermaid for Link Karibo, and I use Link Karibo to get another Marionetter, and then Marionetter gets me another trap, and then I end the, the turn with, like, a negate and a bounce and a being able to get stuff back to the graveyard and something else for any of his spell traps that happen to go in there. So I'm feeling confident about that one. Let's go into the 10th duel and see if we can end this before it turns out to be an hour long. <laughs> All right, here we are, the final duel versus my arch nemesis player. I'm not sure if I've played them yet before, and we open with zero altergeist. We got two personal spoofing. Fortunately, Lilith actually saves us in this instance. No, she doesn't, actually, because I can't activate Manifestation to shuffle it into the deck. Um, but that's fine. We're just going to get Trap Trick. We're going to get Trap Trick. We're going to get Trap Trick. What we going to get? Trap Trick. What we going to trap? All the tricks. Tricking those traps. Trapping those tricks. Everybody knows that you got the chicks. Ho oh, oh. ho! That stands for chickens, if you're unfamiliar. All right, we're in a somewhat bad position. We're in a really bad position, um, but I can Trap Trick. Unfortunately, I have no idea what he's playing because he Twin Twistered into Twin Twister. Into Twin Twister! With Ash Blossom. Um, well, you know what? Fuck you too, buddy. Let's see if you can get those dang all Twin Twisters. Kashunk, um, what's the... Okay, I can't let him know what I'm playing. Uh, let's just go for infinite and permanent, shall we? Right over here. That seems like it would be the most useful. That feeling when you open three twin twisters against the guy who opens with nothing but traps. Okay, personal spoofing is now live. Um, let's see if this is Guru. I have a feeling this is Guru. Am I, about, am I about to run into a guru? Am I about to... Silver Gadget. We're up against gadgets, lady and gentlemen. Lady and gentlemen. Um, alright. Off we go. Let's go for... Trap Trick, and Trap Trick, and... Memory of an Adversary. <laughs> it's probably like, the fuck? the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Non-targeting. Non-destruction removal. And I got it. So if he thinks he can attack me with this and just get more things, he is dead wrong. He's goofy wrong. Oh no. Oh me oh my oh see inside. Oh. Uh... Okay. I'm fine with this. Let's just go ahead, let's deny him some resources, shall we? And then let's activate protocol. And then let's activate personal spoofing. And just tag that out, because it's an altergeist card that's face up, and get ourselves a multi-faker. So if you don't know what this is, you take damage equal to the attacking monster's attack, but then you banish it. And then in, like, two turns or something, it comes back. Which is not going to be great useful. It's nice to steal something big with this. The more important part of it is just that he's not going to have access to it for his ABC plays. And, yeah, we're just going to send this back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, hey. You're kind of what I needed. I mean, it depends what I draw. I would have been fine with a marionetter. There we go. That's a marionetter. Hey there, Mary. How are you doing? Time to climb a net. Or something. I don't know. Fuck. And from here, I'm feeling like we're in a pretty solid position. He seems to have one of those decks that mostly is reliant on its normal summon. At least at the beginning. He also opened three twin twisters, which is never good. No matter how many spell traps your opponent has, you don't really want to open all three. Um... 
But now that he's used them all, I'm pretty confident in just setting just about everything. Just setting every last thing. Well. Alright. Touche. Get out of here. We're gonna get Conquery. Conquer's bad for a day. No, you can't have it. It's mine. Uh, okay. He's got one more. He's got the A. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta. We're gonna do this. And we're not gonna negate uh, this effect. And we're going to do one of these. And that's going to summon Multifaker. And hey, he summoned something out of the deck, and if you recall, we shuffled our bird person back in there. So bird person's back there, and then bird person's going to be like, yeah, that, that whole A thing you summoned, I don't want you to be doing that, so get out of here. Not liking it. And I can't summon it back. Because because I used multi-faker, so now it's just banished forever. It's just banished forever on a field of dreams. Um. Yep, we're going to send this back. Send that back, because I don't want him to have any things. Um. And we got none of those yet, so... And I don't think I want to use multi-faker, because multi-faker is... Okay. Doot doot. Yeah, we're good. We've got traps for days. We're like discount trap warehouse up in here. People will be going ooh-ooh all over the place. Your move, holy man. And what move shall it be? Yeah, that's the only thing that uh that this deck kind of suffers with is it can't get a whole lot of attack on board. That's it was really close trying to decide between this and Paleo Geist Frogs. Paleo Go Geist Frogs not slightly not as good. Will you stop doing that? That's just rude. Yeah, they're slightly not as good at controlling the game, but they are a lot better at putting a bunch of damage on board. And now we're just going to play out the same thing we played last time. Except for now you're not even going to have A. I'm sorry. Normally I would feel almost bad about playing a deck that just like overshadows things this much, but... I've been here for almost two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah, and there we go. I'm just, we're, we got our wins. After that first episode not going so well, this episode went really well. I don't know what it is. It can't possibly have been the things we changed because we barely used Compulse or uh, Memory of an Adversary. Just really weird in general how it seems like the first episode. Maybe I'm too nervous. Maybe I feel like I have to make a really good impression on the first episode and then I don't do as well. I don't know. Either way, let's go to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Altergeist Good Trap Toolbox. We went 7-3 and three overall. Undefeated this episode. Again, not really sure why. And in overall thoughts about what I expected. Altergeist in general, really good. Just some matchups they have a really hard time with. Things like that, that dragon that can't be targeted and can't be destroyed. I think even the meta versions of the deck have trouble dealing with them. In fact, I'm not sure exactly what they do against something like that. I have my options, but even those weren't working all that well, because people can just play around storming Mirror Force and Memory of an Adversary and Switcheroo. Once they know you have those cards, they're kind of easy to play around. This, this deck's real big strength is sort of its ability to be unpredictable. So let me know what you thought about this overall. In, in particular, you'll have to let me know what you thought about this idea of taking sort of a meta deck, putting a hard leg twist on it, making it more set up for YGO Pro th than a competitive scene. Because I'm not sure if that's just a waste of time or if it's if it's an enjoyable thing to watch. Either way, next time I'll be playing something older, I'm thinking maybe Insectors again, maybe a Rome Ages, who can say, maybe Math Mech if people really want that. 
Probably not, though. That deck's pretty linear. Either way, we'll see. And until then, good luck and have fun. Well, hey there. Thanks for staying until the end of the video. Just wanted to take a moment to thank all my patrons for making this show possible, but especially the high-tier patrons who always dominate the meta of my heart. They are Salt Lake Kale, Treacherous Queen Nixie, Hobzy, Kino Ura, Zero, 1503, Chris W, Munch Rye, Austin Glover, Daniel Frowsing, J3 Puffin, Buster Blader, Lucas Geardis, Casper Habros, Brian Bruns, Antonio Simonelli, Quintingent, Dancing Joker, Inner Hype, Mr. Eiffel, Emperor Lelouch, Diotic, Jeffrey Langrano, and Manuel Torres. Each and every one of them is as precious as my single multi-faker. If you'd like to join them, the Patreon link is on the screen and in the description. And this episode's official question is, why do you think I tend to do better on the second half of two-part episodes? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, stay frosty.